Prayer to Trust God for the Harvest by Victoria Riolano, read by Leah Martin. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we'll reap a harvest if we do not give up. Galatians 6 9. Only three months in, and it was clear we'd run out of money. Years ago, my family and I decided to make a bold move and follow God's call to be church planters. It was exciting to build a team of believers to win souls in our local community. With so few church options in our town, we were enthusiastic about how God could build His church from the ground up. Yet we realized very quickly that none of this could be done without finances. From filing paperwork with the state to be a legitimate business to securing a location to microphones to supplies for children's ministry, we'd need to come up with the finances to launch the church. Fortunately, those on the team and a few ministries came together, and we were able to have everything we needed. Although our setup was simple and inexpensive, it was exactly enough. However, with few members giving and no large organization providing monthly support, it was clear we couldn't sustain the cost of rent, let alone the other supplies. Only three months in, it was clear the church was set to close. My husband and I were heartbroken as we shared the news with our freshly started congregation and the facility we were renting from. Years of dreaming and planning had culminated into what felt like a failure. Yet over and over again, I couldn't help but remember my favorite verse that says, Do not grow weary in doing good, for in due season you'll reap a harvest if you do not give up. So we continued to run the ministry as best we could, knowing the end was in sight. But God, in true fashion, showed up. Days before the church was set to close, the rental facility cut the price in half, and we received a large, unexpected donation that covered the rental fee for four months. In a matter of hours, we went from a closing church to one that had an excess of resources. Hallelujah. The Lord reminded me that He was still a provider. He was still faithful. He was still able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ask or think. You see, when Paul wrote the words, let us not become weary, He'd already been ministering the gospel for over a decade. He'd already taken several journeys where he had proclaimed the gospel and helped to establish regions of believers to come together as the church. Thus, this word of not growing weary was real to him. He didn't have the privilege of pressing Facebook Live to preach to the masses or traveling by car or plane to minister. Many scholars believe he would have had to travel 10,000 miles by foot in his lifetime. But he was willing to do it because he knew that the harvest would be worth it. He knew that he had to follow the calling of the Lord with all his heart, soul, and strength, even when it was difficult. Clearly, Believers are still reaping the benefits of Paul not giving up. With over half of the New Testament being written by him, we're reminded that God rewards our ability to show up with grit for his glory. And today I want to encourage you, let's not grow weary. May we trust God in every area of our lives. He will certainly show up for us right when we need it. He's a promise keeper and one who still blesses his people. May we trust God for the harvest of our work. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for who you are. I praise you for remaining with me through all of it. There are times when giving up feels like my only option. I thank you for sending people and 
even reminding me in your word of the great reward of staying faithful. Help me to be resilient and trust in you. Show me how to trust you and expect a great harvest. I thank you that you are good and you are using every hard trial as a testimony. Thank you for writing my story. I praise you for your presence in my life. In Jesus' name, amen.